There's the other third of the Bible club. I, I will say this. Johnny, I'm a bit surprised. I would have thought that if someone from the Bible club was going to get a shot at that CWF championship, that it was going to be you. But I think that Malik Champion is just as deserving as you are, and I'm sure you would agree. Listen, some champions are made. That man was born a champion. Malik Champion. But you can't deny it that he has got his work cut out for him as he is about to go up against everybody's trainer. A man I have the utmost respect for, Barrett Brown. Everybody's trainer, Barrett Brown, is in the house for the last Looking time in 2020. And as you hear, the Lordatorium is behind the champ. That's because he's a champion who carries himself with integrity. He carries himself with dignity. He carries himself with class. We are a man, he's a man who we are proud to call the CWF champion. I can't agree with you more. And I don't know if, ladies and gentlemen, on Facebook, if you saw the promo that Omega was trying to shoot for tonight's show. And Barrett Brown had to step in because as of late, you know, Barrett Brown at one time took Omega under his wing. He did. You know, we, we began to call Omega the Monday night main event. And Omega was on a hot streak when he was under the champ Barrett Brown's are, uh, wing. Are you saying Barrett was like his four-leaf clover? Yeah, he was his good luck charm. I'd have to agree with that. But Barrett go. had to step away due to some uh, uh, personal things and some other uh, obligations where he was gone for about a month. And during I heard he had month, to wash his hair. Well, I heard he had to get ready uh, for a competition he's got coming up. That's why you see that physique. And, and I don't know if you guys can notice here. I, I, and I'll say this. Look at the physique of the champ. The champ has been in training. Absolutely. Those are washboard abs that the champ has in there. He's but definitely there lighter. Respect. But I'll tell you, he's quicker. He's more fine-tuned than he's ever been. I agree with you. But, but what I was saying there nice, about strong that promo up. that Omega was trying to shoot is – you know, you said that, that the champ is a very classy guy. He is. And he was a little bit perturbed, frustrated, nay, I say angry, with Byron. Um, correction, he called him Byron earlier because that's who he talked to. Byron, Omega, the same guy here. He was not happy with the way that Omega was acting in his absence. Coming out here, he called the Bible Club out last Monday Night Live, trying to fight anyone and everyone he could oh, because he was frustrated. Nice counter. Well, you're absolutely right, but when you carry yourself with that level of integrity that Barrett Brown does, then anything that you put your name on, anyone who wears the trained by Barrett Brown shirt represents you. And when they're behaving in a manner that does not reflect the integrity you demand your name carries, then you must do something about it. You got that right, and let's get back here to the action. Uh, let's get back to the action here in the ring. Barrett Brown back in Malik Champion up into the ropes. Are we going to have a clean break? I think absolutely. we will. Shoots him off. A pass by. What beautiful a beautiful arm drag. arm drag by Malik Champion. Nice. And there you go. Oh, have it. nailed Ladies the drop. And gentlemen, as I said last Monday night, Malik Champion has got a beautiful drop kick. The air that he got there, Johnny, was beautiful. Barrett is thrown off his game. I don't think he anticipated that. Well, I'll tell you what. He ladies, looks pleasantly surprised. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I think Barrett Brown is just as surprised as he was in his match he's against, a against no, Joshua Dawkins. No, he's impressed. Dawkins. He's making a mistake. No mistake. This is pure sportsmanship. That is, that's that is the, respect. And that's what the Christian, Reddit, Christian Wrestling Federation is all about. But what, what, what I was going to say is you said that you thought Barrett was taken off guard, and I, I couldn't agree with you more because, ladies and gentlemen, December 25th, our next YouTube channel live show is going to air on christmas day and you'll get to see 50 barrett 50 caliber barrett brown take on joshua dawkins who also delivered a drop kick out of nowhere on the champ that took him by the surprise that's right the, both of these men have bob holly style drop kicks some of the best looking drop kicks in the game you today. know my broadcast partner phil the real deal bishop claims to have the best drop kick in the cwf and i can't i can't disagree i do like what what the bishop does so i almost say we need a, what a move beautiful counter 
by Malik Champion countering as he goes together. Go! Oh! You can't out quick Barrett. You he needs to slow him down. You can't out quick him and you can't out thank him. That's why he's been the champ as long as he has been. But a little bit of a lazy cover there by the champ. The energy that you have to expel to kick out of a pinfall is exhausting after it builds up over and over. What Barrett just did there was tire him out, yep. break him down. You got that right. And I'll tell you what, how about referee Carl Knight? Oh! My, oh my, ladies and gentlemen, you might not be able to see it, but uh, it is a little bit chilly tonight here in the Lordatorium. So that normal kick that may not hurt or sting as much is stinging about three times as much tonight, Johnny. Absolutely. Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh my! Have mercy, I think I... I I would tap out. I would tap out, no, Johnny. Not, not champion. Not champion. I don't know what's going on with the champ here. The champ is being very lazy with his covers here, Johnny. Do you think he's playing with Malik? Or no, what's he doing here? No, those pins are not with the intent of ending the match. Those pins are designed to oh, cut. There, you beautiful. Drop kick out of nowhere. Those pinfalls, the intention is to tire Malik down. Malik is stronger and bigger. If he can make him tired, he can take him out. I don't know if this has ever been done in professional wrestling, but ladies and gentlemen, I think we need to have a drop kick contest between Phil, the real deal Bishop, and Malik Champion, up. and we He's can put to up. rest who's got the best drop go. kick in the CWF. There we go, slowing him down. Good game plan. Bam Bam, I just the game got told plan. by someone in the crowd, don't forget the Texas champion, Bam Bam Malone, as he also has a pretty nice drop kick as well. I think I may, have, a opened nice a can, I think I may have opened a can of worms there, Johnny. Well, I won't be participating in the drop kick uh, contest. Well, I don't I, know I if try your to, knees would handle well, it. Well, I try to stay grounded these hey, days. If we're going to do this drop kick contest, you might as well call in Josh Hawkins. Oh! What a the close line. He may have decapitated Malik Champion right there. No, I don't know how his head's still on his shoulders. One, that two. That is impact. Wow. But you got to give it to referee Carl Knight. He gets in the right position to be able to see the shoulders of Malik Champion. As that, champion does that was, it too. That was a 230-pound man clothesline from a 165-pound guy. Yeah, that was insane. Right. Power is what that was. He used every square inch of his body with that clothesline. The technique it takes to get that power when you're only that size oh, is incredible. What an elbow dropped right that down was aggressive. on the forehead. I don't, I don't know how that didn't that cut him open. Evil. That was shockingly aggressive. Man, ladies and gentlemen, we've never seen that from the champ before. Uh-oh. The champ is saying this is right. it. What's he saying? Come on, Malik Champion. Stay strong, Malik Champion. There we go. Throw those oh, elbows. Good job, Malik. Big back elbow Bible by Malik. There. Beautiful champion knee across the face. Oh. Champion catches the champ. Oh, beautiful. Hey, beautiful. One, two. Oh, I thought we had a new champ. a new champion. I thought the championship was coming to the Bible club. Oh, my. Referee Carl Knight, his hand was milliseconds from going to a three count, Johnny. Malik Champion is bringing the CWF title to the Bible Club tonight. Mark my words. Oh! Suplex right into the turn. I don't think that's even legal except in Japan. Good kick out. Good kick out. Stay strong. Stay strong, champion. It sounds like Barrett Brown's getting frustrated. He's having some words with referee Carl Knight. And here you have Barrett Brown looking frustrated, trying to figure out what it's going to take go. to champion. get rid of Malik Champion. Well, you know what? I I'm sorry, but these guys in the Lordatorium are chanting champion. I don't know if they're chanting for Malik or for the CWF champion. They are champion. They are they are cheering for the champion by name, not the champion by title. Oh, my, another huge kick right across the chest. Stay strong, champ. Champion is Don't just, just sit there and let him take you down. Forth on those knees. You can't let Barrett Brown treat you like a pinata. Oh, 
Talk about knocking the air out of you. I don't know how Champion is still on his knees right now. What a counter by Malik Champion. Oh, that may be it. That very well may be it. Kick out, buddy. Come on. There you go, Champ. No quit. No quit. I don't know where he came with that. I do not know where Malik Champion is. Look at the shock, awesome. surprise, and sheer wonder on the champ's face. He's wondering what he has to do to put away champion. I was just about to say, you can see the wheels spinning in the champ's head, trying to figure out what he needs to pull out of the bag. Champion is so resilient. Malik is so determined. The champ, is he gonna go up top? It looks like he is. Is he taking too much time? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. He may be taking too much time. Champion, everybody's awesome. trainer, 50 caliber Barrett Brown, and there you, there you go. A super fly. I forward. knew, I knew my Bible club brother in arms was playing possum. And now they're teetering up on those ropes. He is sharp as attack. Here you have. Oh, oh beautiful! What a beautiful hurricane runner off the top rope! Oh! Oh, and another near fall! I'm Ladies telling you, that, that title. Is twice that we have almost seen the title change hands Holy here tonight. Spirit. Holy Spirit! That title is coming Holy to the Bible Spirit. Club tonight. You know, we got the Lordatorium chanting Holy Spirit. And let me tell you, that may be the only way these two guys are still being able to go at it is through the strength of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, what a, what a counter. slap right across the face there. Open fist, open hand hit there. Champion with a forearm to the forehead. Barrett with a big super uppercut. There's that forearm. Another forearm by Champion, followed by a forearm Barrett, from the champ. Barrett somehow just shakes these off like they don't affect him. And now they are just changing forearms. And now these two still standing. I don't think referee Carl Knight knows what's happening right here. Malik with a big fist. Come on, the Champion. The champ uses that leverage from the ropes to come in and give another one. You can't play pinata with Bear Brown. Oh, what a kick to the midsection. Right up to the chest. Beautiful super kick. That could be it. I don't know how the champ is still standing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Where did that come from? No, kick out. Oh! And there you have it, Johnny. What an incredible show of athleticism. What an incredible display of grit. That match had it all. I am astounded with the performance from both these men. And frankly, I think they're astounded by each other. I couldn't agree with you more, Johnny, but I'll tell you this. What a way to close out 2020 on Monday Night Lives with that main event. Ladies and gentlemen, again, December 25th, we have got our next monthly show airing live on YouTube. There we go. And there you have the class of Malik Champion and Barrett Brown. But, Johnny, enough of you and I talking, enough of Adam and I talking. Here in just a second, 